in 1883. A period in world history, roughly 1830 to 1930, that curator J.R. Henneman says birthed great works of art. The first section of the exhibition is all about defining French Orientalism for our audiences. Orientalism, in short, is when artists romanticized foreign lands as their home countries colonized foreign lands. One of the most extravagant is Luc Olivier Mersenne's Cleopatra Descending the Nile. The Denver Art Museum is tackling French Orientalism and colonization in a fresh way through their temporary exhibition, Near East to Far West. Because by the time he creates this painting in his studio in Paris in the late 1800s, Egypt, the, the culture, the history, the art of Egypt has been very well known for nearly a century in France because Napoleon attempted to colonize Egypt in the late 1700s. Audiences have an exclusive opportunity to view French Orientalist works displayed right next to depictions of America's Wild West. You will never see these artworks together again like this ever. The pairings may seem odd at first, but this art of the Wild West was actually inspired by French Orientalist teachings. During the 19th century, so many American artists traveled to France, and it turns out that these two seemingly different bodies of artwork actually have a lot to say to each other and grow out of very similar contexts of colonial expansion. Henneman came up with the concept while looking through the Denver Art Museum's Western art collection. As someone who had studied 19th century European and American art, these representations of the American West looked much more to me like European Orientalism. I was struck by what I perceived as the exoticism of much of that material. And it raised a question for me about the roots and the inspirations of that material. And so I pursued this question, what, if anything, do, does Western American art have to do with Orientalism? Now, it's up to the community to provide the answers. However, this exhibit is meant to help our visitors grapple with a colonial history. The museum wants you to add to the exhibition by reflecting and leaving your thoughts right up on the wall. So it's a, it's a space for learning and engaging, and it's a place where we ask more questions than we provide answers, and that's the point. With photojournalist Alex Castillo, I'm Victoria Valenzuela, Nine News. Thanks to the pandemic, this exhibition won't travel, living a short three-month life before closing day. Near East to Far West will close on May 29th.